handicap this one for us. Oh. Shannon, does this mean Zeke will indeed miss regular mm. season games? Yeah, Shannon. <laughs> mm. No, yesterday, Z hey, Jerry will get this done. Told you yesterday. You ain't want to believe me. So that means it's over, what he just said? Ah, <sighs> yep. Hmm. Skip, I believe that Jerry Jones is resigned to the fact that Zeke's going to miss games because he know we can speculate all we want to, but Jerry knows what they offered, and he also knows what Zeke's agent and Zeke's camp has counted offered. So Jerry and Steven know that they haven't moved, Zeke's camp hasn't moved, and so we're still here. Uh, according to reports. That's, that's what has been just barely reported because there hasn't been any real big leaks on either side. Right. Go ahead. There has been very little talking on that one is... side. There have been a lot of talking on the other side. Yeah. You hear Steven and Jerry just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll give yeah, you that. Yeah. Zeke hold I up in Cabo. Yeah. Maybe, they don't even have, maybe they don't have communication in well, the part of Cabo that he's at. Yeah. But he's been relatively quiet, working mm. out, getting his thing, getting his thing on. Skip mm. Bayless looking good. Yep. I heard he looking real good. Too, mm. So he ready to run. So he, Reportedly. Like, no, ain't no reported. reportedly. That's what I heard. Very reliable source. Mm. But look, Skip, Zeke Elliott will never have as much leverage, leverage as he has right now. If you're not willing to play a pay a 24-year-old running back that's led the league in rushing two or the three years that he's been in the league, you're damn sure not playing a 27-year-old running back. Mm. And Zeke understands that. Zeke knows that his, 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 his value will never be greater than what it is right now, considering, as Jerry says, what they're building, what they put together. Mm -hmm. So Zeke is using that against him. Now, I said yesterday, Skip, I believe Zeke will miss the first month of the season. Mm. But here's the thing. I believe if the Cowboys, let's just say for the sake of argument, Skip, for this conversation, they're three and one. As a matter of principle, I believe Zeke will miss the next, the next three games, four games, because if they win, they go three and one, Jerry Jones is not going to mm. increase his offer. Mm. So Zeke says, in order for me to get what I really want, I'm going to have to see how you guys are going to do against New Orleans and, and Philly and some, okay. of these, some of these tougher competitions. Yep. Because I think Jerry Jones is looking at, like, mm. we got the Giants. I mean, okay. we're going to either get Eli or we're going to get a rookie Daniel Jones mm. or we're going to go to Miami and then we're going to get either we get a... Well, at Washington first. Oh, Washington. yeah, Washington. Okay. Oh, we're going to get Case Keenum. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. And then we go to Mi Miami. Home, home. Miami, yeah. Miami mm -hmm. comes to us. And we either going to get Fitzpatrick or going to get Josh Rosen. So Jerry is playing like, we're going to be 3-0. Mm. Look at those quarterbacks. Our quarterback is better than those guys. Our team is better than those. So we're going to be 3-0. You'll give my quarterback better than those? That's a oh, breakthrough for oh. us. That's movement. That's progress on this really, show. Really, Skip? Well, for given that you think he's Case a bust. Keenum. Case Keenum. You know, go ahead. Really? Thank yeah. you. Mm. <laughs> so, Skip, I just believe that if the Cowboys start the way you think and what Jerry thinks, this thing's going to linger on. Now, in order to get a credit of season, Zeke's going to have to play eight games. Goes back to, I don't want to get too far, caught up in the minutia, mm -hmm. the Joey Galloway situation, Skip, and that's what the arbitrators decided, that eight games is credited for a season. So I believe that Zeke, if they get off the three and one, Zeke's probably going to miss the next three or four games mm -hmm. because he's like, okay, yeah, you won mm -hmm. against uh, uh, Washington and Miami and the Giants, mm -hmm. but let's see what you do against uh, New mm -hmm. Orleans and Philly and some of this mm -hmm. other different competition. So this thing wow. can linger on, absolutely. So Shannon Sharp just on. doubled down on. on yesterday. He just doubled my pain, says he, predicting that Zeke will miss not just the four games that he he went all the way out to yesterday. He's going half a, a year, right? You got some money? Huh? You got some money? I, I wish I could give it to Zeke. Okay, right cool. Because yeah. Zeke, Zeke, Skip, I was told a dollar won't get the deal done. Okay. A dollar more than Todd Gurley. Mm -hmm. He wants more because he said, you know what, Jerry keeps saying they're not going to set the market. But they say, Jerry, we watch you set the market with Tyron Smith, okay. Travis Frederick, and okay. Zach Martin. Okay, I'm, I'm going to set this in concrete right now. <laughs> Shannon Sharp predicts Zeke will miss eight games. Can I quote you on that? Quote me. Thank you. Eight games, says my partner, Shannon Sharp. So, before I get to what I really want to <laughs> say, I'm going to briefly give in to your sky is falling overreaction <laughs> that I get day after day after day, thanks to Jerry Jones, who does talk day after day exactly. after day. Exactly. Can you believe Jerry Jones? 
he, he overextended like crazy to buy this team back in 1989. <laughs> By the way, he made the first call from Cabo. Yeah. Would you believe that? And that's when they didn't have cell phones or landlines. Yeah. You, you had to go to the operator in the hotel yeah. to make the call Put to Salomon Brothers in New York, which was brokering the deal for the Cowboys. They had just gone on the market, thanks to Bum Bright, who just said, I've had enough of Tom Landry. I want out. And Jerry bought the Cowboys out from under a lot of bigger bidders yeah. and overextended and had to mortgage to the hilt. And you, you think it was worth it today? Oh, oh, worth five, oh, oh. That, well, that $120 million is worth yeah. $5 billion? How many 76-year-olds uh-huh. have the media at their knees every day saying, Give us something, Jerry. And he says, I'm glad you, I'll give you anything you want. I'll, I'll talk all day and all night if you'll quote me. He's, we, we lead every show with what Jerry <laughs> just said, right? Yep. He's the most famous owner in the history of pro sports. Is that, I don't know, a more famous one, right? Yeah, yeah he's. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to give in to Sky is Falling Over Reaction off the top of this show. I'm going to give you this what if scenario. Okay. Let's just do the what if. And, and if this is correct, you're going to be dead right about this because you, you actually might be under predicting how many games he'll miss. But here would be the scenario. What if Zeke is, is watching Undisputed from Cabo every day and he buys into the far-fetched, wrong-headed notion that you preach on this show oh. <laughs> that, that every day you say that Zeke is far more valuable than Dak Prescott, yeah. right? Okay, and- so let's work with that premise. Okay. What if... With all of his heart and soul, Zeke has convinced himself that is the God's truth. I deserve at least as much as my quarterback is about to get paid. And that's going to be somewhere. Let, let's just do a hypothetical. We'll split the difference here because we are all these wild reports. Let's say he's going to get $35 million a year. Okay. Dak Prescott. Yes. Is that realistic? It's probably, yeah. it's, it could be in the 30s. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Let's do 35. So what if Zeke has convinced himself? I want $35 million a year because I'm more valuable than he is, and he's going to get $35 million. Yes. Okay, let's do this scenario. Okay, Todd Gurley makes $14.4 million. Yes. Dak Prescott's going to make $35 million. Right. You can see it's more than twice right. as much yes. as the running back. Yes. What if Zeke says, I'm going to blaze a new trail for running backs. I'm going to put them back on the map because I demand at least $30 million. Well, if that's going on, and it's possible that's going on, then you are, you're you're actually not even close enough to be right because you know what's going to happen then? What? Stalemate's going to happen. The, what's going to happen is what we call protracted holdout, where, where we have a, a season-long impasse. We've got Le'Veon Bell all over again. Well, here's the thing, Skip. Le'Veon did not care about an accredited season because he was okay. always well, going to be well, a free neither agent. Neither would Zeke. He might just throw accredited out the window because he wants quarterback. I'm doing the hypothetical here. No. Then then your scenario would be thrown out the window. But, it wouldn't, it'd be like chicken feed. But here's the thing, though, Skip. But Zeke would still have two years left. See, Le'Veon had no years left because he had already acquired the number of years no, that no, needed. No, I, I got that. But this is where you want to just shoot the moon. No, 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 where, no. Yeah. No, he just wants to be... If you say Todd Gurley makes 14.3, mm-hmm. Zeke's wants to hey, Zeke wa- don't don't do okay. your thing. Okay. I'm doing I'm doing what could be. Oh, this is this me. is the the outrageous skip not 30 shot Go here. Go 15 16. Okay, but not but 30. What if he is. Well, you're no. the one who keeps telling me he's far more You you say every day on this show he is far more valuable than the quarterback. No, I said he's a better Yeah, he's more valuable to the Cowboys. Yes. But, okay. But skip So is it possible that's what's holding this up? No. no. Skip, but they don't pay you based on value. It's the, football is the only sport that pays you based on position. I'm trying to help you make your case I, know, I don't here. need no help. I yeah. made my case. Oh, oh okay. I made, I you're you're going to be dead wrong because I'm going to get to my case and just. Okay, we'll go ahead. But I'm trying to give you an out here. No, I don't want to This out. could be going on no. right You got to get me out. Behind closed doors. I'm not going to get myself out. You got to get yeah. me out. We're about to go on a big run here because <laughs> here, here's the bottom line to this. We still have a long way to go. We have nine more negotiating days yes. before game one. Yeah. That's To Jerry Jones, that's an eternity yes. of negotiation okay. because he has lived his life negotiating deals. Right. That's what he does for a living. That's what he does best. That's why Zeke's so, not talking again, to him one-on-one. What's that? That's why Zeke's not talking to him okay. one-on-one. Well, again, you're, you're, you've completely missed that boat. I've told you 15 times on this show. The, the way this deal would have gotten done for more than Todd Gurley was if Zeke had reported the first day and buddied up with Jerry. Jerry would have overpaid Zeke in that scenario. He's playing it exactly wrong. And there have been days 
when he has alienated Jerry to the point of just ticking him off. Mm -hmm. And we've seen Zeke's side get ticked off. So it's it's gotten a little animosity going back and forth between the camps, which is is very dangerous to the process. Mm -hmm. It's just extending the process, not past game one, but up to game one, right. where Jerry's going to make you pay the price of having to wait through all of training camp and all the way up to the week before game one before this deal gets done. It will get done. And I'm going to quote our man Jay Glazer. He wrote yesterday in The Athletic, behind the scenes, Dallas has still contended all along that they believe Zeke will be there for week one against the Giants. I think he will, says Jay Glazer. Now, he tacks on at the very end of this, uh, what, what he wrote in The Athletic, by saying, but you, you never know what turns negotiations may take day by day, and you don't. Mm -hmm. But in general, Jay is hearing from the inside, we're going to get this done. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.